How to pull someone out of a burning car. It's a situation you hopefully will never encounter, but just in case, make sure that you know what to do. You will need 911 rescue professionals, a scene assessment, protective clothing, an ABC fire extinguisher or garden hose, a safe spot, a passenger assessment, and extreme caution. Optional, a window breaking tool. Approaching a burning car is dangerous and potentially deadly, especially if the fire is already in the passenger compartment or fuel is spilled near the car. Step 1. Call 911 before you do anything else. Do not approach the car until you've done so. Step 2. Wait for help to arrive if circumstances make it unsafe to approach the car, such as downed power wires, an unstable vehicle, a fluid pool that may represent leaked gasoline, and oncoming traffic. Step 3. If you decide to approach the car, cover as much of yourself as you can with whatever you have – jacket, gloves, hat, hood – to shield your skin from the heat. Anyone within 10 feet of a car that's on fire can be burned by the heat. Step 4. Stand upwind and uphill, if possible, to protect yourself from smoke and noxious gases. Avoid standing directly in front of the tires and rear bumper because the fire could cause them to blow out. Make sure you always have a safe path to get away from the car so you're not blocked in if the situation worsens. Step 5. Make containing the fire your first priority. If you have an ABC fire extinguisher, spray the engine by aiming it through the front grille or a broken headlight. The next best thing is a garden hose, but be sure to set the nozzle on mist, or you could make the fire worse. No mist option? Put your finger over the hose tip to create a fine spray. Keep an ABC fire extinguisher and a window breaking tool in the trunk of your car for emergencies. Other types of fire extinguishers are not recommended for putting out a car fire. Step 6. If you can't contain the fire, try to get the passengers out. Make the easiest rescue first. Look for the smallest or lightest person, or someone who's easy to get to and can aid in their own rescue. Don't get stuck on one trapped passenger when others can be saved. Step 7. If a passenger is injured, only move them if leaving them in the car is not an option. If you must pull them out, try to keep their head and neck aligned to prevent spinal injuries. Step 8. Constantly reassess the situation so you don't put yourself in harm's way. When the professionals arrive, back off and let them do their job. Did you know? Many vehicle fires are caused by mechanical or electrical failure that can be prevented if the vehicle is properly maintained.